Selinden ensured that the licenses for casinos would only be granted to the Hotel Corporation of the Bahamas to hold and trust for the Bahamian people. So the licenses are ours. Don't let nobody fool you. Stick with me, folks. The casino licenses are ours. We allow white foreigners to manage these casinos. We don't allow black Bahamians to manage these casinos. We allow white, and I'm choosing these words carefully because I don't know no black owner of no casino here or operator. That is what Selinden did. He allowed us to work in the casinos and he allowed us to own them, even though we believe we don't own them. Here we are now getting ready to celebrate independence. And one of Selinden Pinling's surrogate sons, Perry Christie, now stands at the doorstep of history. Perry Christie must act now on gambling. He must move now, decisively, to consign to the trash bin of history this discriminatory practice against the Bahamian people. Discrimination against Bahamians, especially black Bahamians. Because the white Bahamian could go in the casino at Atlantis and gamble without impunity. It's been done before and it's doing it right now as we speak. White Bahamians, Chinese Bahamians, not Bahamians of dark color like me and you, sir. The white Bahamians can go in and play. No question asked. I'm not making this a racial thing. These are the facts. And I can call names because I see them all the time. Turks and Caicos is on the line. I am in the middle of something. Tell the governor I will call him back, please. We want to finish this off. So this discriminatory law, or these discriminatory constitutional provisions, provisions in the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, must be eliminated, rescinded, permanently discarded. We must go all the way on gambling. Why, for the life of me, do we have, in effect, two different sets of casinos? One for the whites and one for the blacks. One for Bahamians and one for visitors. A web shop is nothing more than a casino, a place of gaming. That's exactly what the web shop is. A casino, a place where you can go and engage in gaming. Well, Perry Christie doesn't have a conundrum. He just didn't put the question right. Do you want to change the Constitution so that Bahamians can gamble in the casinos in the Bahamas? Full stop. <clears throat> Sabas could own a casino. Flowers could own a casino. Red Heart could own a casino. Adrian could own a casino. What the new boy named? Titan could own a casino. Gotta be regulated. But not just them. Not just them. Every
everybody could own a casino. The Chinese done start. You hear that? Boy, you can't hold them down. They're the most entrepreneurial people in this country, more than Long Island. Let me tell you how they do it in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Every bar, every restaurant, every convenience shop, every laundromat could have four machines. And you go in there and you play. That's leveling the playing field. And I think somebody was telling me something about what Frankie Wilson had to say. Well, that empowers the masses of the people because their business got to increase. They now have a better product to offer. All these different places now. Not just four or five people with a million dollars. So you're going to enrich not just a few. You're going to enrich the many and bring those who are in poverty out of poverty because everybody ain't a gamble, you know. But they can make money and they can pay their mortgage because four machines in the gas station, four in superwash, four in the mom and pop store, four in Brothers Go Go Ribs, where everybody can go and play if they want to. Problem solved. Oh, please. You gotta put bathrooms in the web shop, man. You're in there for five and six hours and some of them ain't got no place for you to pee. Ridiculous. So you gotta go a little further and look at the health regulations, the security regulations for these various web shops. I think I've said enough. Tear down this wall, Mr. Christie. It's a wall of discrimination. The only way you change the Constitution is you put in the question a provision of the Constitution that you want to change. And that provision is that I can't go in Atlantis and gamble. That's the only problem we have. And now you want to mask it by saying I could go over the hill and gamble. Well, I don't want to go over the hill and gamble. I want to go in nice air condition with my visiting friends and be able to play. But for those who want to play, let them be able to go anywhere they choose that is licensed to play, including SO on the run will have a couple. Boy, this could help. This, this, this could help Outback. Outback could have several if they want, right across the road from SO on the run. Let everybody have these machines. Everybody wins. <laughs>